just a few times in a woman's life where she feels like a princess and dresses up and looks amazing and beautiful uh, like no one else in the room, and that's really her wedding day. But there is someone with us today that is going to really change that for women. I want to welcome Katherine Henry. So she is the owner of Katherine Henry Studios, and uh, she's got an amazing Instagram feed, so you definitely want to follow that. Um, and Katherine is going to show us one of the biggest, hottest trends in photography, and that is boudoir photography. So, Catherine, thank you for being with us on Woman to Woman today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. Um, and you're going to find out why. But um, <laughs> first, I really want you to share with our viewers what is boudoir and where where does this come from? This new trend. Yeah, the origin of the word yes. boudoir is from the French word for the female dressing room. So they'd have this little private room. Right. Um, and now. Similar to this. Yes. This yes. Thing. Right. And now it's a trend in photography. So okay. to me, boudoir is empowering women to have them feel beautiful, feel confident, feel sexy, and just all around lovely and very feminine. And for me and my clients, it's all spectrum. So some of my clients come in with very sexy lingerie. Some of my clients come in with beautiful dresses. So it's whatever they're comfortable it's with. Whatever they're comfortable yes. with. And they have to be comfortable with you. And you yeah. know, I've had an opportunity to sit here and chat with you for a little while before we started taping. And I can tell, and as you said, it's really word yep. of mouth and, and, um, and, and sharing your experience with other people, women supporting women. Mm -hmm. But um, you have to be comfortable to be able to get even a little bit vulnerable mm -hmm. and, and, you know, take some of your clothes off. Yes. And really, and even if you don't take a lot of, because it's, it's all yeah. in what you're comfortable. You don't right. have to, you don't have to be naked. Right. You can be fully clothed and still have the experience of, of being sexy. Mm -hmm. And so tell us about this, this boudoir experience that you've created. So I have a studio in Reading, Massachusetts. It's beautiful. Thank we love you. It. We're going to see more of it later. Yes. Um, and I love walking my clients through everything. So from the moment they inquire and they say, you know, I'm looking to do a session, tell me more information, I love to get them on the phone. I think, as you mentioned, when you're talking to someone in person, you get to really hear their voice and connect more than just an email might do. Sure. So we usually chat on the phone, just for a short phone call, but it gets us to know more about each other. So why they're doing it what they want to get out of the experience. Is there a reason they're doing it? Have they been thinking about it for a long time and they've been nervous to do it? So we walk through everything together. And then when they book, I send an informational packet out, which you yes. received. Yes. Lots of tips and tricks. Cause great. For, it's helpful. It is. And for 99.9% .9 of the clients, they've never done anything like this before. Right. It's new to them. They're nervous. They're excited. They're a little scared. They're shy. Yes. All, all the emotions. And it really helps guide them. So I'm always here to guide everybody. So I help with the outfit prep. I help with the day of. I work with Tara next door doing hair and makeup. And we help you feel comfortable. So when you get into that makeup chair, you have this nice relaxation time. So it's pampering, we chat, you get to have the full experience, and then it's the time of the shoot. And I walk you through everything. Yeah. And my favorite thing is to talk about even when I was nine months pregnant doing this, I was up on that bed posing and trying to do my sexiest poses. That's but awesome. But I think that helps me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Right. I was going to ask you, you know, how yeah. I was nervous just walking in here today. Right. right. Um, how do you get people to really let go? And it sounds like making that connection on the yep. phone really helps them coming into a studio that they, you know, mm -hmm. they've never been to before. Right. Um, and just doing it myself. Yeah. I always say, you know, I'm not going to have you get up and say, okay, Go for it. You're on. <laughs> you know, be a model. Because right. no one's used to doing no, this in that every day. Right. So I walk you through everything. So I will do the posing and we yes. talk about, you know, is there something you wanna show off on yourself? Is there right. something you might wanna hide on yourself? Is there a certain outfit you wanna bring yes. that you know you love your wedding shoes and you wanna right. bring them back and you wanna get to wear them again or you haven't been married yet and you're prepping for the wedding and you wanna right. use them. Veils are really popular too. So we talk about what it is you want to do yeah. with the shoot. And you said that half half of the people that come are are really on their way to getting married and having a wedding. So this is a, 
a preemptive yep. celebration of, you know, sexual celebration of themselves and, mm -hmm. and potentially a gift that they're giving um, mm -hmm. to their to their fiancé. Yep. But there's a whole other group of women that yes. are 40 plus, similar yes. to me, yeah. that, um, that really, again, you know, I started, started this episode by saying uh, there's only one time that you, that you really get yourself all mm -hmm. dolled up and that, you know, that you feel really incredibly right. special. Um, so this is another opportunity uh, for women to check in with their own sexual being mm -hmm. and, and, um, and to, to really embrace their body Yep. and embrace their sexuality, and to remind themselves that they're still this amazing, mm -hmm. beautiful, sexy woman. And to um, do something for themselves. Do something for which themselves. Which I really like. But yet, not feel guilty, because they can right. still give something to their partner. Right. Yes. I always say, like, yes. yes, a lot of clients come in with a gift in mind, like I'm yes. going to give this to my significant other, I'm getting married, or right. it's, it's a significant other's birthday, or right. anniversary, but then it turns into a gift for them. They get right. to go out, they get to go shopping, they get to have their hair and makeup done, right. and then they have beautiful photos at the end that they get to keep as well. Right. You know, a lot of clients might produce an album for themselves and one for their significant other. So oh, you, have you have something, something. for yourself as yeah. well, which I think is really important because I agree. you get to look back at those photos. I agree. What's the gift that you give, give women that are coming in to see you? I think it's the confidence. Yeah. The confidence and the pampering and the you're the star for the day. Yeah. A lot of the clients I feel are like me. They're a mom. I have two children at home. So during the day, it's my kids. Right. It's, I don't have time to watch a TV show right. or read a book or magazine. No, it's, exactly. it's, it's all geared on the kids and running the house and the family. So when you get to come in, those clients who are in that same situation as me have this real opportunity to step back and like enjoy things for themselves for a little bit like it might be different than they're used to. Yeah. Well, you are an incredible photographer. Why Thank did you, you choose to shoot women in this particular way? Yeah, I love the connection. I love mm -hmm. the women who come in the door. They're from all different walks of life, all different ages, different demographics, everything. So some of them are moms, mm -hmm. some are young women who are going to be married, some are just doing it for themselves. I think I mentioned to you before, some have even been overcoming breast cancer or other treatments that they've gone through. And it's, it's, it's so empowering. And it's yeah. just so great to meet all these different types of women and help them on their journey as well. And it helps me. Yes. Yeah, I, I love I'm, it. I'm so thrilled to be here. <laughs> Thank you for opening your doors to us yeah. and, and um, sharing your journey because uh, it is such a it is such a gift that, that you give to others and, and, um, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, everybody. Stay with us because I am going to go through the boudoir experience. We'll be right back. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. Okay, Simon, what do people wear? Clothes. That's right. So it's important to learn how to dress yourself. Here's how it's done. Shirt, underwear, pants, socks, shoes. Underwear, always first, name tag on the back. Then pants and shirt. Go ahead and put this on. Now with the shirt, you want to make sure the first button's right or you have to start all over again, okay? Socks left on left, right on right. Tying the shoes, we're going to take the laces, we're going to cross them over, we're going to turn around where the bunny goes down in the hole. Pull it tight and bunny ears. Got it? Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. We talked about the first segment of the experience, and that is having the consultation with Catherine, and then answering a few questions about your own comfort level, and obviously making sure that you understand what's involved in the entire boudoir experience. So Catherine then brings you into this amazing studio with Tara from Tada. And Tara is a professional makeup artist. She's the one that is going to transform you into this amazing um, yourself, only better. Enhanced. Enhanced. <laughs> exactly. So, Tara, Can I start it? Yes. Tell us what you're going to do. So, first, I start with the hair. It gives us a good basis of where the look is going to go. Uh, and then I'll do your makeup. And then okay. we'll come back to the hair if we need to change anything or you feel like, hey, 
I can handle a little bit more. So then we'll go. Okay. Through. Yeah. So just tell me, you want to do this? You want to look sultry, romantic, innocent, sweet? Yes, all of those <laughs> things wrapped into a perfect bow. Okay. That would be. <laughs> All that right. would be great. I, you know, you're. I think a woman is always asking for the impossible when she steps into a makeup artist chair or a hairdresser's chair. Um, but I, I know that you um, are so talented at what you do. So essentially, I'm going to leave it up to you because you know what what can actually happen. Okay. <laughs> Which it is, is great. Good to know what people are comfortable with yes. because you want to be able to look back at the pictures and be like, hey, that's me. Right. But I felt comfortable in my skin doing what I'm doing. Right. So we will start with curling your hair. Okay. And what I like to do for clients is I like to give them a hairdo that is versatile so that I can give you um, two looks. Okay. Because oftentimes girls bring multiple outfits. Yeah. And certain outfits, you know, are more romantic, so certain outfits are more sultry, sexy. Mm. Um, sometimes you're laying on the bed, so an updo really wouldn't yeah. work. Sometimes you're standing and uh, an updo would work. Got so it. if I give you both looks, then you can get okay. you can achieve more um, more with the shoe. Okay. So curling all of your hair, I'm gonna do top to bottom. Okay. And then we'll play around with it. I'm gonna work with your okay. face and your features and see what works best. And some of the things that Catherine um, tells each of, of her clients that come in is that hair, you know, try try not to wash it for a couple of days. Definitely just come in with a moisturized face. Uh, I'm obviously have absolutely no makeup on, um, uh, and and you just have to be comfortable in coming in because that's a blank canvas that will allow you to to transform it. That's the best and I way. I understand some some women come from work or they don't want to leave the house and be suspicious with no makeup on, and mm. you know. But the thing is, when you start washing your face and your face gets red, you can break right. out. Right. You know. So it's better just to come yeah. clean face. Uh, hair can be dirty, but if people have greasy hair, yeah, that's you really don't want the hair to look no. wet. Or... Yeah, that makes sense. So. And this smells incredible. <laughs> is this your go-to? That is my go-to. It's flexible spray, so okay. I can still work with your hair a little bit. That makes maybe. sense. But yeah, um, still... I have the same version in a like super a hold. One, a super hold one, exactly. So that I would use. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just holding the curl a little bit before mm. it falls because you want it to cool in the curl position. Yeah. Another yeah. Fun tip. Catherine often watches and she'll. That's why she looks so amazing now. I learned. She I learned even need me anymore. <laughs> she doesn't even need me. <laughs> so teasing is also always important. It just gives some volume and sure. that sort of Victoria's Secret look that often people are going for. I mean, most women do do a Pinterest board and not have pictures of things that they oh, like. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, Catherine has one that they can follow and add yeah. to, and she often, they often share it with her, and then okay. she'll share it with me. There you go. Um, but as much as that's helpful, it can also be daunting because mm. they see so many things that they like. Right. And they can't it's, oh, it's overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. In my own research, just to, just to figure out what um, what are some outfits that I could, could bring to, that, that, you know, would be sexy but not overtly naked, I guess. <laughs> um, and and they, I was telling Catherine, there are thousands of pictures of women that have been through this experience, and I, I don't think I realized what what a, a transformative trend this is, and um, it's almost a requirement now for getting married <laughs> that you have, um, you know, that you have this experience. And it, I would I would say that's great for for on your wedding. You know, through that journey to a wedding, but I, I, I can't stress enough how important it is for a woman to feel this way. However, whether you know, we want her obviously to come and have this experience because it's such a, a beautiful experience. But um, in some way, for a woman to, however she needs to, still feel sexy and beautiful in her own skin um, is really. Uh, so important and such a good reminder. So I appreciate both of you doing this. It really it's very is. Empowering. It really is. And we have, I mean, I would say the majority of our clients are brides to be, but mm -hmm. we have, I mean, I'm sure Catherine already talked yeah. about this, women who have just gone to divorce, right. women who have just been diagnosed with breast cancer. That is such a um, We had one yeah. client who was really amazing and she had done this prior to being diagnosed and then after she was diagnosed and had already gone through chemo, wanted yeah. to do it again just yeah. to yeah. say, like, Hey, hey I'm, me. Still, I'm still strong. Still here. I'm still, I'm still beautiful. I'm still exactly. yep. And really embrace I love that, that story. I think it's yep. really remarkable because a lot. I think some people think, oh, you're just laying on a bed and it's yeah. you know, sexy and it's you know. 
I don't know. It's it, it's just yeah. so different for us. Yeah, it's, it no. has such a more important meaning and yeah. really sort of celebrating being a woman. That's awesome. So it's cool. Uh, now, what do you say to to women? Um, you know, because I meet all kinds of women, and some of them would look at this and say, "Here you are trying to transform yourself into some." Uh, you know something that that you're not maybe and and um, and why do you why do you have to do hair and makeup and and almost get into an unnatural self uh, in order to feel sexy? Hmm. That's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> it is a really good question. It pushes people's limits. I mean, it yeah. pushes people to see themselves differently. I mean, we joked before we started filming like that I haven't done a session like this before, right. and just sort of accepting like, hey, like you can do this, like, right? It doesn't have to, it, it is just about celebrating who you are and yeah. finding what makes you feel comfortable. It makes you feel comfortable. You know, yeah. because you don't want to, if, if someone's uncomfortable with the hair, the makeup, right. the posing, the outfits, like they won't, it will, it will come through in the face. Yeah, mm -hmm. it won't translate well. It, yeah, yeah exactly. that makes sense. So when somebody feels comfortable, I mean, right. it reads all over their face. Yeah. Like when you saw when somebody picks up their book and they're like, oh, right, look, I know. they did it. It's like an, it's like yeah. an accomplishment, yeah. you know? So yeah. It's cool. Um, and I really think it is for everyone. I mean, so many people sit in this chair and they immediately say, like, just so you know, this isn't really me. And I'm like, yeah. what does that even mean? Yeah, right. What does that mean this isn't you? Like, right. Almost everyone says something yeah. like that. That's totally. so funny. Yeah. Totally. And yeah. It's like, no, no, this is me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do this all the time. You're right. You're here. You're doing it. Okay, so Tara from tadamakeup.com just finished my look and she is going to turn me around. This will be the first time that I am seeing my new fresh face. Oh my God. Ta -da. Wow. Ta-da! Wow, Tara. Okay. I think it's spectacular. Dramatic. Oh, definitely. I think my eyes really pop. Beautiful. My skin Good. looks amazing. I look like I have cheekbones. I love the color. I told you I, I rarely do lipstick, and that is just beautiful. It's like enough color without being like, yeah. look at my lips. Yeah. It balances off the look. Definitely. Good. I love it. Yay, Thank you, Tara. I love it. Thank you. Hi. May I please have an application? Thank you. Skip the drama. Get your diploma. Okay. Take that first step towards a better future. Find free adult education classes at finishyourdiploma.org. I'm Jenny Garth, and as a mother of three, I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. But here in America, that is a real worry for one in five children. This is unacceptable and something Feeding America is working to solve. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States, including yours. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. All right, so now we're back in the boudoir setting, and we are picking out outfits from this spectacular closet that I wish Thank I had you. in my own home. So <laughs> you did too. an amazing job. Um, and so each each client gets um, two or three different outfits to choose from, and then um, Catherine gives them direction about where they're going to stand. And there's so many different settings within the, the two rooms of the studio that it gives every guest so many different options. So um, here we go.
So we just finished the photo shoot with Catherine Henry Boudoir and makeup by Tara from tadamakeup.com. And it was so much fun. I have to say, when I first got in there, I was a little embarrassed thinking that I um, would have to try to be sexy and I would really have to translate um, and transform myself into something that I wasn't. But they made me feel so comfortable and so confident. and. Uh, it was so much fun and it was time for myself and that's really atypical. I think that's the same way with all women. Um, and just the, the pictures that I got to see, the preview pictures are spectacular. They're really talented and they are so comfortable to be around and um, to be able to be myself around. Uh, they definitely transform me with makeup and hair um, and poses, uh, but I still felt like myself and I really appreciated that. So it's a great opportunity to, um, to feel more like a sexy woman uh, than I typically do in my day to day with two kids running around to soccer practice. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the show and we'll do some more on location. So remember to follow us. Thank you, Access Framingham. Remember to tweet, Instagram, Facebook, um, so that you can stay informed in what we're doing and give us your feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.